I'm guessing you'll have probably watched at least part of um, Saturday's game back at, at the time after the final whistle. Probably quite difficult to be too upbeat when you've just been beaten. But when you look back at that performance, you must have been really pleased that a lot of what you'd been talking about last week, we, we really saw in, in the game itself. We was over the moon with the performance levels. Um, I, I actually said that to the players afterwards. And um, these are a fantastic group of players to, to work with in the sense that Listen, they sensed that and they enjoyed playing in that way and and with that freedom, with that expression and with that tempo and energy and their passing and uh, and with their ability. But um, listen, we're professionals and we was all feeling the, the, the natural disappointment of losing, the, of losing the game. Listen, we want to win football matches and uh, we also know that we need to perform well if that's what we're going to do. And um, so, yeah, for me, the, the performance levels... Um, definitely outweighed, um, the, not obviously uh, not winning the game, but listen, we still feel very disappointed that, that we didn't take anything from it because of, we actually felt with the performance levels that we deserve something from it. So, uh, But we're remaining positive. We can, we're continuing to work on what we've been working on. And um, I, I think the, uh, you'll see the, the, the fruits of that as we go into this final running of the season. Yeah, it's a case of taking one step at a time and, and you must be really proud really that, that you can sit down with the players. You've isolated a, a few problems that you wanted to work on and yes, you haven't quite got the finished product in terms of what you've tried to do over the past two games, but the progress is really there. Well, in terms of, of building the, really the, the entire squad, what we have worked on is we've worked on, on the squad and what they do out of possession. And listen, we have fantastic energies. They work things out. They're good defensively. Our, our back line has been resolute since we've come in. Um, and we've now started to add that flair and that tempo and that passing and, uh, and our attacking game. And the key bit for me was on the game at the weekend that we created so many chances and good chances chances to score goals um, and we've been working um, we've been working now on just finalising that putting that final piece into the jigsaw and I think if we can do that then um, then listen we're going to uh, we're going to top it off and we're going to be scoring an abundance of goals because that's what we want to do at the end of the day but um, it's been a uh, an approach that we've taken over 10 games we're 10 games into it now uh, and we're still building it and we're just trying to slot that final little bit and I'm sure the players are going to take those performance levels and the bits that we've been working on uh, into the game tomorrow across the white line and, um, and and do what we've been working on Yeah, and it looked like a big bonus from Saturday you were able, with the shape you were playing you were able to get Marcus Madison into a, a central area and I know he's still working his way back to, to fitness after the injury problems he's had but getting him in that area it was a, a promising display oh, well it was exciting and he created opportunities and he had chances to score he had shots on goal um, and getting in there he will also create opportunities for other players um, Erhan equally done exactly the same um, in, in terms of playing in that number 10 role and getting on the ball and, and threading passes in and getting people on it he had a real positive impact for me um, so yeah to have the two of them um, being able to impact the game in those central areas was uh, was very good and that definitely helped us create more opportunities. Yeah, and I thought Jack Payne had a, a big part to play on Saturday as well because having Cozzy and having Michael Smith in the wider defensive areas, when they get forward, obviously um, there are gaps to fill and, and he seemed to be really intelligent in terms of his play, making sure that that was all, all working as it should. Well, listen, Jack's a very good footballer, but he's also, um, he has great tactical understanding. He sees those pictures when we do um, look to overload certain areas, no matter what formation we play. He'd done it very well when we was playing a 4-4-2 with split strikers, um, and he's done it well when we've played the 3-5-2. So um, he understands that, he sees pictures, he's got great awareness and good tactical understanding. And the bits that, that I think a lot of people don't see is, um, is why is the, the, the team captain is he's got good leadership skills he will be encouraging Cozzy or Michael to step in if that happens he'll be encouraging the wide players to go and get at their full backs and, um, and he'll be doing that and talking to them during the game as well so they're fully aware of the security that they've got um, obviously whilst going and attacking do you see your, your spell in charge so far almost as as two separate sections insofar as you did what it took to get the results early on, that got you to a, 
a certain point and now it's a case of finessing it and and actually stamping your own uh brand on the side as it were um yeah you, listen there's only certain things that you can change you know have to change them slowly and step by step and we know what uh, what support the players needed and we've given them that the players have responded exceptionally well to it um, and we're now starting to add and develop that and take that further because of um, anybody who knows me would know how I like my team to play and, and we're getting closer and closer to that week by week but um, it's a process that takes time um, and listen I'm just really really privileged to be working with this group of players and and hope that I get longer at it because of I think that we can um, we can definitely move forwards and progress and um, and, and take them uh, into a real promotion push next season yeah in terms of, of what you've achieved so far what would you say are the the major changes that you've made in, in terms of philosophy and, and how you've dealt with the side what have been the the big successes uh, what well, has been big successes across across the park is um, is definitely obviously making sure that there's a structure to how we work and what we do um, there's been clarity for the players in understanding what the expectations are from myself and from the staff and from the football club and from the supporters um, and also giving the players the, the freedom to express themselves which is I think now where you're starting to see um, the best come out in our in our young players they are a young group but they needed to understand that um, that in any given in any game on any given Saturday they need to um, be hard working uh, without the ball with the ball they need to be brave and when they get into the final third they now need to be ruthless and clinical and that's exactly um, how we've been developing it and exactly I am uh, exactly what you'll see tomorrow night yeah in terms of crew tomorrow obviously the the relegation battle, if you like, at the bottom of League One, absolutely fascinating because there are there are so many sides in it. It's phenomenal, um, but it shows what a tough league this is. And there's teams that that are going to be battling it out at the bottom that would have expected to be competing for promotion at the top end. And um, it makes every game, I suppose, the good thing for me. It makes every game um, have a meaning to it across the league when we have a full fixture list, and um, that's what keeps it. And that's what keeps it exciting. So. We'll need to make sure that we go into the game positive. We'll need to go into the game in a clear frame of mind and working on what we need to achieve because of um, they're going to be coming in. They're going to be coming here um, and working their socks off, and we need to match that. But then, most importantly, play in the right way when we do get the ball. Yeah, and it's a, a good example, isn't it, of how you think you've got football cracked? Crew had had a really good run in the middle of the season. Looked to have got themselves out of danger and just when you think you're getting it right it comes and, and bites you on the bum well it's the worst thing you can do in football because every day is a learning day you have to keep learning you have to keep improving and um, and I think one of the important things is that you have to learn from your successes as well as um, not only learning when there's a mistake so that's important and I think um, within football you need to make sure that you, you keep concentrated you keep focused and and you keep doing what, what you do but you have to do it in the right way and um, Listen, complacency can be danger, dangerous for anybody. Um, so uh, we we'll definitely be uh, looking forward to these next four games and making sure that, that we're right, um, irrelevant of what other teams are doing. Yeah, and Nicky Jose has been playing a, a big part for them this season, was obviously here up until quite recently. Didn't quite work out for him as a, a League One player with Posh, but he, he seems to be finding his feet. Yeah, listen, we know about Nicky. Uh, we've worked for him, obviously, for, for a long time. Um, we, know what he's, we know what he's about, so um, we'll be aware of that threat if they play him. He hasn't been playing recently. Um, he looks like he's fallen out of favour a little bit there. So um, if he does play, then we'll deal with him. If he doesn't, then we'll deal with whoever's in his place. And clearly, at this stage, you'd have loved to have been a little bit closer to the playoffs. But when you look at Crew and you look at that, relegation battle you must think hey that's quite an achievement really that posh from from where where you were to where you are now you're, you're right out of that issue well we're not in that issue but what we have to stay focused on is focused on ourselves for the next four games uh, we win four games and um, listen it's still it's still possible anything's possible until we're mathematically out of it then in my opinion then we're still then we're still in the fight to push for that last playoff uh, playoff spot so that's exactly the frame of mind that, that we'll be going into into all of our games with um, in a positive way we are professional which probably in another way shows you a lot about 
about our players and, and that would have they were definitely disappointed about that on Saturday because of they knew the game was there to, to be won and um, that's the approach that we'll be taking for, for all of the next four ones and that's why I enjoy working with them because they're winners um, they have a great winning mentality they want to win football matches and they're good professionals John Taylor missed out at the weekend with his knee problem how's he, how's he getting on? Um, Tows is 50-50 he's got a um, he's got a fitness test first thing in the morning, so we'll know about that. But other than that, everybody's available for the squad. And I suppose not too much of a concern insofar as you'd love to have him around, but Harry Anderson did a, a great job at the weekend. Yeah, Harry's growing into it and done excellent, to be fair to him, uh, alongside a lot of other players. So, um, listen, I'm sure in terms of his performance levels, uh, if called upon, he's ready to start and, and able to play in League One and do it quite comfortably. Um, we trained this morning, so he was with the squad this morning. He's in catching up on his college work this <laughs> afternoon. He's a, he's a great lad, he's a hard worker, um, and he'll have the opportunity to do some of that tomorrow afternoon before the game. But... Um, in terms of his maturity, he's got maturity beyond his years, but he'll, uh, if called a bomb, Harry will be ready, as will everybody else in the squad, because they've been fantastic.